So this is a huge race, the men's 800 metres T54. There are some big names indeed in this one. Liu Yang, who goes in lane one from China, already won gold in the 100 and 400. His compatriot, Gui Yang Feng, silver in the 400 metres. And then further out, Kenny Van Beagle, silver in 2014. He won his seat, that was his first win of any kind of these championships. Marcel Hu, the world record holder, silver in the 5,000 metres. He won this event in 2014 at the European Championships. And the man with the championship record set in 2013 and defending champion Julian Cassily in lane five. Bichinok of Russia in six. He picked up bronze in the 200 metres. Garbi in seven and Liu Cheng Ming in eight. There is Liu Yang. Lifetime best of 135.98. And the man who came second to Lu in the 400 metres, Wei Yang Fang. Kenny Van Beagle. Lifetime best this year of 133.19. A silver medalist at Europe in Swansea last year. Marcel Hu, there's been pressure on him in these championships. There was a lot of talk about he and David Weir earlier, but it's been about more than just those two. He'll go from four. Cassily, defending champion. You can see that mark on his left shoulder. That's where he came off when the heat of the 1,500 metres went awry and they had to rerun it. He is in five. Bichinok of Russia will go from lane six. Garbi of Tunisia outside him. In lane seven, there he is. And Lu Cheng Ming. We have three Chinese athletes who are competing in this men's 800 meters T54. The moon is watching on. The crowd are watching on. We're watching on. So is Marcel Hoog in the background as we get ready for the men's 800 metres T54. And away they get straight away in lane seven. Garby got away very, very quickly indeed, as did Van Vigel in three, Marcel Hoog in four, and the Chinese athlete on the outside, Lu Cheng Ming, has gone out as well. But on the inside, it is Lu Yang in the red who takes the lead, and also Hui Yu Fang, who came second to him in the 400 metres, who takes the silver medal placing at the moment. But they're all bunched together. Marcel Hoog is up there as well, and it is a very quick pace as they go around around the outside with around 150 metres to go on the first lap. So it's Liu Yang who leads from Kui Yang Feng who's there and Marcel Hu in the black with the silver helmet you can see there is in third place but he's just been overtaken on the outside by Li Cheng Ming who's come up alongside Liu Yang in first place. So we have China, one, two, three at the moment with Kui Yang Feng in third place. Marcel Hu placed nicely there in fourth at the moment as he looks to try and get around the outside. Kenny Van Beagle's in there. They're all in there at the moment. Bichinok's there as well. No one has dropped off the pace. They're right up there at the moment. In first place, it's Liu Yang. In second place, it's Liu Cheng Ming. And in third place, coming around the outside, it is Marcel Hu of Switzerland. Kui Yang Feng of China is in third place. Can they get a one, two, three? But he's going backwards. It is still China. China, who lead at the moment in lane eight, who started off there, Lu Cheng Ming. Cheng Ming leads at the moment. Here comes Kenny Van Vigel. Van Vigel, can he get him on the line? No, he can't. Van Vigel in silver medal position. Marcel Hu, he is the world record holder in this, but he can only finish in third place. And the winner, Lu Cheng Ming, in a time of 105.41. He equals the championship record set by Julian Cassidy two years ago. 135.41 equals the championship record of Cassidy. 135.47, Bang Beagle goes through in second. And Marcel Hoog, 
has gone in in third place and picked up a bronze medal. Well, that was a fantastic effort by Van Vegel. He looked like he was going to get the win. If he had about 10 metres more, he would have got the gold. But he didn't have 10 metres. He only had about three and he couldn't get there. Cheng Ming, 135-41, equaling, would you believe it, the record that was set just two years ago by Julian Cassley. There he is going around to take the bell on the last lap and he went to the front, he stayed in the front and he got home. Difficulty, but he got there. Yeah, Liu Yang Ming leading them out there and for the first lap stayed in front. China, one, two, three at the bell. But Liu Ching, Cheng Ming with 50 metres to go, he looked the goods, didn't he? He looked the goods and he held on because Kenny, Kenny Van Weigel came through and with 15 metres to go, you thought he was going to take it. He came through with such a burst of speed that you thought he was going to go past Liu Cheng Ming, but Liu Cheng Ming holding on there for a, for a great victory. Very good tactical race there by the, all three of the Chinamen to get him across the line first. Well, there I goes think. Van Beagle. Hoog on the outside as well, but he couldn't get there. But it was Van Beagle. The wheel lofts off the ground. He tries to get there. He does his best, but he misses out by the barest of margins. And Marcel Hoog, the man who holds the world record in this event, set back in 2010 in Switzerland. He couldn't get across the line and he takes third place. But China again at the top of the podium and another gold for China. They've been fantastic at these championships. Kenny Van Vegel, he thought he got there. He just missed out. And under that moonlight, it is China who takes the gold medal. The Netherlands in silver and it is Switzerland who take third place. Marcel Hoog with a bronze medal.